Yeah, so the, the importance of the TLS SSL certificates is that it provides you with the identity uh, and the in, uh, encryption of the connection. So that when you're going to a website or connecting to a server that you know is was behind that domain name or behind the website, um, that, that integrity and authenticity of the information you are seeing or connection the person you're dealing with that, that's the crucial part that TLS certificates provide you. So today we're using certificates that are generally valid for about a year. Uh, um, technically, according to the requirements, we can go to 398 days uh, to give you a bit of room um, so that you can have one day at the year at which you renew your certificates. That is something that is easy to remember. Schedule your agenda as a yearly renewal of those certificates when they need to happen. When they're moving to shorter lift certificates, such as the proposed 90 days, this means that you need to do this now four times a year in a window of 90 days. Moving to 90 day certificates means that you're practically going to renew your certificates probably every 60 days. Um, so meaning that in the end, you will have to replace your certificates four to six times a year depending on what window you allow to renew that certificate. 80-day certificates will have a few benefits. Um, so one is that um, they will drive automation. So uh, we, we spoke about that people let their certificates expire because when it's a manual process, you need to take the action. Uh, Google and, and some of the other root programs, um, they prefer that things are automated so that Customers are adopting automated tools to renew certificates when the system thinks that it's time for them to be renewed. Um, there are some other advantages. And think about the uh, post-quantum cryptography that is coming. Um, we might need at some point to replace a lot of certificates quickly. And maybe not once, but multiple times depending on how smooth the rollout of post-quantum cryptography will be. Automation can support us with that because if it's easier to enroll your certificates on a large scale through, for example, automation, um, you would be safer in a post-quantum world. That doesn't say that there is no problems and that 90-day certificates are actually going to solve this. Uh, crypto agility is important, but that means more than just automating your certificate lives. For example, if the CA would give you an indication through the automated system that your certificate must be replaced, um, how does currently the CA knows that your system is capable of running a certain algorithm? Have you updated your libraries? Um, so we still have a lot of step ahead of us really to make that crypto agility a reality. So one of the challenges we foresee is that not all systems support automation. Um, and it might be very difficult actually to enroll certificates in those systems. Uh, it might also be a reason that people are doing it manually today. Um, of course, we will see vendors updating their systems and extending capabilities. Um, but that doesn't mean that we all speak the same language, the same protocols, basically, to speak and reach out to the certificate authority uh, to manage this. Another problem we have identified is that many cloud providers um, allow customers to upload certificates manual. Um, and that is, again, if you need to do that once a year, that's fine. That's, that's not a big deal. Um, while they provide uh, APIs, so automation uh, um, interfaces to have programs automatically provision the certificates for you, that is a completely manual process or a process that needs to be run or implemented by a developer. Um, we're working with the Internet Engineering Task Force where Entros created a proposal for a sort of alti discovery based on the most uh, used automation in the ACME auto certificate management environment. Um, uh, that would help our customers actually to 
the simplify this mechanism of renewing certificates in different platforms with different systems without having to reconfigure every individual system to uh, work with the certificate authority and the type of certificates they're dealing with. Together with uh, very important is one of the risks of automation is that you're not doing it as a human. If you do a process, if you follow a step-by-step -step process that is defined and tested, then you know the outcome because you're following the steps. But in automation, something might go wrong. And how do you know? You need to make sure that systems are notifying you, that someone is watching the notifications. That's also why in, in, this, in this similar proposal, we've included the mechanism of backup configuration. So if one process would fail, there is another process that can be followed. But other things that are still in development. And uh, we will see how that turns out, but the ecosystem seems to be supporting it.